I've just been thinking recently how, and let me know if you agree with this. It seems to me more and more that ideas, good ideas alone, or even charisma, you know, um, are not, are, 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 can build an audience, but it's extremely slow, which makes it tough to build a business from. Um, it used to be that ideas worth spreading, right? It used to, it used to be that ideas themselves are worth spreading or charisma itself is worth spreading. If you're well-spoken, then people will watch. If you're, if you have good ideas, people will watch, but it seems like it's, it's not enough anymore because, well, I, it might, it might even be the whole AI thing that has shifted things. Cause certainly I've noticed a shift very much in the last couple of years where it's like no matter how smart someone is or what what kind of good ideas or even how entertaining they speak, it's hard to build an audience. It's really hard. Um, maybe when I mentioned the AI thing, it's because I, ideas are now commodity. ChatGPT can give you ideas all day long, smart ideas, well-spoken ideas all day long. We're not even there at the, at the stage of um, you know instant video avatars yet. It's like imagine if... You know, probably in the next year, we'll have a chat GPT that will speak to you like a normal human face, whatever face you want to look at, whatever voice you want to look at, whatever celebrity you want to talk to, right? Like just be instant and re it looks real and they, they're they entertaining to talk to, brilliant ideas forever. And then, then, then what happens to us YouTubers, you know? And so... I recently came across a viral video that further confirmed this or emphasizing this, this thought I've had, been having. And I'll link to the viral video below, which is um, the one about the neurosurgeon who quit his job and is now hanging out in nature a lot without, without uh, a clear career path. Of course, now he's famous with YouTube, so he can probably monetize his channel and make enough money. But but he he made the decision way before, well, at least at least a year before the whole YouTube his YouTube thing took off. So it was a courageous decision, and it went. That video got seven million views in less than one week, less than seven days, seven million views. And I and I've been kind of lightly following his channel. Every video he comes out where he, he just it's another several hundred thousand views, and the reason why it's remarkable is that he's really boring to, 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 to listen to. He's not, he's not, a, he's not, a, he's not good looking. I mean, you know, I always say I'm not good looking. So he and I are probably a similar level, similar score from zero to 10. Um, he's not good looking. He's not, his voice is not particularly, my voice probably sounds better than his, right? All, all this stuff matters, right? We're both Asian. He and I are both Asian. Um, he's more boring than me. Um, I'm comparing myself to him, right? But you know what the difference is? No, sure, he has a beautiful background, but any of us can put up a virtual beautiful background now. So it's not the it's not the gorgeous scenery that he's talking in front of. No, it's because of his life story is so unique and the choices he's made is so courageous and yearned for by everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people, enough people that it went viral, that that's why it doesn't matter how uncharismatic he is and the ideas he's speaking are not that interesting, to be honest with you. What is he saying? He's saying uh, the, the mainstream medical you know, cartel, basically the mainstream medical industry and medical industrial complex is just trying to you know, bring more people into the hospital because, for more surgeries because it's profitable for everybody. Uh, give more pills because it's profitable for everybody. Whereas he noticed as a neurosurgeon, so, so he's, he has life background that most people cannot achieve. And anyway, I talk more about this in the video, but because of who he, because of his unique work that he's done in this life, he has the credibility that no one else has, or not no one, but very few people in the world have to be able to say the most banal things. I mean, the most, duh, th any of us are, are thinking already beyond that, right? Like, well, of course, mainstream medical not, not every not everybody, but a lot of us are, of course, holistic healing and 
taking care of yourself and self-care, of course, that will heal someone, even as someone who needs back surgery. I don't know. We, I, I didn't know that, by the way. But that's what he says. A neurosurgeon, spine surgeon says, eh, when they slept well and ate well and you know, spend time with friends, their their spine healed. My God, what the, you know, but but a lot of us would probably have believed that without much persuasion. Like, well, yeah, of course, the body heals itself. If you, you take care of the body, you know, uh, you don't have to have surgeries necessarily. Anyway, he's not, and then he's saying like, I wasn't happy in my job anymore because it didn't feel ethical. So I quit and I'm spending time in nature. There's nothing remarkable about that, except the fact that, he did it, number one, but he did it from such a high career, um, you know, that that many people couldn't even achieve, you know. So it's it's this, so it's like, so in other words, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm realizing my strategy has to change. Like, I can't just be saying, well, I've got a good ideas now. Like, well, this that's a really good idea. I gotta make a video about that. No one cares anymore or so few people care, it's not going to build you an audience. No, I've got to mine my life. I've got to mine my life's experiences for like what's really unusual, what's really difficult in my life that I've achieved, whether it's achieving something positive or whether it's overcoming something difficult. But like something where people go, kudos to you, that is remarkable. Rather than, I'm really smart. I've got some idea. It doesn't matter anymore. AI is way smarter than us. Like <laughs> other people are way smarter than us. There are more YouTubers coming out every day that are going to be smarter than us. Can't do that anymore. Can't compete on that level. It's, it's going to be impossible. But what, what AI can't do and what other humans can't do is live your life. AI doesn't have the embodied in the world experience of however many years you've been alive. You always will have that advantage. And so the question is, how will you mine your life's experiences for what is really special? What do you think? <laughs> I really welcome you to comment below. What is unique and praiseworthy, if I may say, about the life you've lived or some capability you've developed that other people don't have? that most people don't have, that people would like to have. Um, what projects have you accomplished? What trauma have you overcome? What challenges, adult or childhood, have you overcome? What, um, you know, Mount Everest experiences have you had? You know, things that people would recognize, as, now it doesn't have, you don't have to climb Mount Everest, but that kind of um, praiseworthy type of life experience. All of us have it. It's just, <laughs> it's funny. I haven't yet taught a course on how you can mine your life experiences for the Mount Everest type experiences that all of us have. And if we, if we, if we mine those experiences and then talk about it, we too might get seven million views in a week. Do you see what I mean? Like, or at least thousands of views on that video rather than seven views, seven views on the video. So anyway, that's what I've been thinking about. And I really welcome the discussion. If you want to chat below, comment below on any examples from your life. Now, you, 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 you haven't been a neurosurgeon, neither have I. And it might, it might for, with that extreme example, we might feel so ordinary. But no, that's not true. We all, all of us have had really unique life experiences and praiseworthy life experiences. So I look forward to seeing the comments below. And by the way, it doesn't have to be like, oh, I spent 10 years doing this. No, it doesn't have to be like, it could be something that happened to you in one afternoon. Do you see what I mean? But it happened to you. And it's not just an idea that came to you. It's not just I was journaling on something and thought of an interesting idea. No, it's something happened to me. It could be, a, it could be a, 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 in passing, something happened that was like, you know, and yes, you, you, your take on it was interesting for sure, but but the but the but the happening of it, the happening, the life experience. So so in other words, I'm calling all of us just to start observing our life a lot more, and go, what's really and and 
if once you start observing it, like what's really interesting about my life, you'll probably start living a more interesting life too, by the way. Like, like, you know, it's kind of like, um, and you may have heard like people, people joke about the, you know, 17 year old life coach or the, anyone in their twenties or thirties life coach. It's like, come on, you haven't really lived yet. Life coach. What are you talking about? Life coach. So some, especially someone in their, in their teens or twenties, what are you talking about? Life coach. You haven't, you barely lived now. Of course they could, they could still talk from their unique experiences if they're really good at mining it. But, but that's what I mean. Like you have already lived along. Most of us are, are older than 17 who's watching this. Um, <laughs> you wish you were 17 again. No, most of us are, have lived decades of lots of experiences we can mine. And that's what I'm, I'm asking you to, 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 to think about. I'll even say stories of failure are just as valuable, if not more valuable, more interesting than stories of success. So it's like, you know, I spent five years as a life coach and I failed. And that'd be a great video. Like really, you know what I mean? Like I've spent, I should make a video. I've spent 15 years as a business coach and I feel like I'm just starting over. I feel like I'm starting over or I'm, I feel like I failed. Like that would be a great video, you know? And, and then I could be really honest about my experiences and what I've learned and what I wish I didn't do and which I regret regret people people love those videos i regret my life and don't make the same mistake i did like people are like gobble that up stuff up and you could say it authentically and of course you don't really regret it because you had to live it in order to learn um but yeah so so think about not just your praiseworthy experiences but your so-called failures too that uh you wish you knew right you wish you knew earlier